Okay, let's configure an NTP server. Now, this is something that we'll do uh, fairly often just so we can keep time synchronized. And if time doesn't synchronize correctly, weird, weird things happen. So I'm going to start by pulling up my date. And when I type date, date, not eight, it will show me my date and time. Now, this is 946. It's actually 146 p.m. But notice at the end where it says UTC. If I do a time date CTL, time date control, it will tell me that my current time zone is UTC or Universal Time Convention. Now, I'm actually on Pacific Time. So time zone UTC, that's not right. That's why I'm off. And notice this will give you the local time versus the universal time versus the RTC, which in this case all happens to be the same. And notice that I am synchronizing this through the NTP service. Okay, now I want to change my time zone, but first I need to see what time zones are available. I said I'm in Pacific time zone, but that's not actually one that I can use here. Let me type the right command, time, date, CTL, and I want to list time zones. And let me actually type my command correctly. Wouldn't that be a novel thought? Whoops. Time, date, CTL, and I don't need the dash. That's so just list time zones. Okay, so this is going to list all of my time zones. And I'm going to kind of list them alphabetically. And I'm going to come down, and you'll notice there is no Pacific time zone. But as I go through here, I'm going to find, I want to find the one that's closest to me, and that's going to be America, Los Angeles. I'm actually closer to Seattle, but they're in the same, same time zone, so that'll work. So, I'm going to do time, date, CTL, and now I want to set the time zone. So it's going to be set dash time zone. And then I'm going to put America forward slash loss underscore Angeles. And it prompts me to authenticate to do so. Okay, so now if I do date, it's going to show me 148. And it's, I'm in the Pacific time zone. So perfect. That actually gets my time and date right. So now my time and date is just fine. However, at this point, I'm doing this using a tool. I'm not using an NTP server. I mean, I'm connecting to an NTP server, but the tool I'm using is, let me do a system CTL status. And the name of it is system D dash time sync D. And that's going to show that my time sync D is active and running. And that's what I'm using here. And you'll see here, network configuration change, time synchronous or initialize. Let me get my arrow over. Initial synchronization to time server 172.20.20.9. Okay. So, which happens to be a local NTP server. So, everything's fine. Except that I'm not running this as a NTP server. Now, I don't have to run an NTP server in my network. I can have all of my devices going out to a time server and synchronizing their clocks that way. By the way, I said if they're not synchronized, lots of weird things happen. My favorite one was the last time I ran into this issue, I'd had a Windows computer that I just installed uh, Ubuntu on, Ubuntu desktop, and Ubuntu sets the system clock to UTC, and then adjusts. Windows sets the system clock to, and adjusts based on time zone, uh, Windows sets the system clock to whatever is appropriate for the time zone. So they do this very, very differently, and it... Um, it creates problems. So when I went to do an update, it told me uh, sudo apt update. It said you can't do that because your uh, servers, the repositories you're connected to, aren't actually going to be active for another seven hours. Weird things happen when your time isn't synchronized. So everyone can be synchronizing individually, or you can have a single NTP server. Now, let's set up a single NTP server. That's going to be pretty straightforward. So it's going to be uh, sudo apt install ntp. And yes, I want to install my ntp server. And it goes through and installs my ntp server. And just like that, my ntp server is up and running. There's some default configurations that are going to pull time from the Ubuntu 
time server. So I'm pretty much set at this point. So let me do system CTL status NTP. And that's going to show me that my NTP, my network time service, is now up and running. Just for kicks, let's do our pseudo status system D. And you'll notice that that is shutting down. When I installed NTP, it removes the uh, system D, time sync D. So my NTP server is up and running. Now I can verify, I can go through and change my configuration. My configuration, let me go ahead and nano this. It's going to be forward etc forward slash NTP dot CONF. So this is my configuration. You see we're using servers from the NTP pool project. Um, ubuntu.pool.ntp.org. So we're using those external servers already. Life is good. I don't need to worry about that config too much. But one thing that I might want to do is it's called the NTP queue or NTP. I think of it as NTP query. And I want to do a dash P and that's going to show me the servers that I'm hitting. So here are my remote servers. The reference ID, the uh, statum, the when they're polled, what the delay offset jitter is. The important thing is that I'm hitting these servers and that I'm getting information back from them, which means I am now syncing to those time servers. Okay, great. But how do I get everyone else in my network to use these, to use this time server? That's actually pretty straightforward. If you go back into your DHCP configuration, you can do a command and it's in your uh, pool configuration in DHCP reference back to our DHCP video to look at that configuration file. But the command, I'm going to go ahead and just type the line here, even though it won't, won't work. I'm going to type it just so you can see it. It's option NTP dash servers. And then you'd put the, the IP address of the NTP server. And now anybody who pulls a DHCP address from your uh, DHCP pool will now use that device as your NTP server. So there you go. That's how you set up and configure your own internal NTP server.